I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Origins Cyclone Heroin Fist Flinging Tornado. And I'm really excited about this figure. This was up for pre-order from the Mattel Creations website about a week, week and a half ago or so, as of the time of this recording. And he's here. I actually received him in the mail a day before I received my shipping notice, so I don't know how that works. Some time traveling was involved, but there it is. Starting out with the packaging, we get the just the Mattel Creations mailer box right there. Let's see what's next, or let's create what's next. Cue dramatic box opening music for all of your unboxing needs, I guess. I don't know. So there's the shipping box right there, and then the actual figure, the packaging itself. Very, very cool Absolutely love the closed box that this comes in rather than the standard card. Of course, he's, uh, I guess, would this count as a deluxe figure? I'm not sure. Uh, the deluxe figures also come on cards, but this one's got extra accessories. It comes in a box, kind of like Lady Slither did. So there you go. We got some very cool artwork of Cyclone up here at the top. Looks like he's in the fright zone because we can see that tree back there with those vultures sitting right there. He's taking out some of those Horde troopers right there. We can see Hordak in the back. What uh, I first when I saw this, I thought this was the Gray Skull Tower from Eternia, but obviously that's not what that is. That's something you know, it's because there's a bunch of horde troopers coming out of there. So and then Hordak right there. Some of those red troopers there too. You can see Cyclone right there in the box, the figure itself. You can see a shield. You can see that ring around the back there, and a couple of those like, Cyclone Tornado kind of effects that are going to plug into his hands. Very cool looking. Um, box, or rather artwork along the side of the box right there. And, oh, that's cool. So that's more like, extent. is this? This is an extension of the artwork. Okay, so the sides are extension of the side work for the front there. And it kind of looks like the snake monster for the Fright Zone. You know, we're getting a lot of teasers for the Fright Zone. I hope they're going to bring us a new updated Origins Fright Zone playset at some point. We're getting a lot of teasers for it. Along the back here, we've got artwork again, Master of the Universe. We've got Hordak right there, kind of like telepathically looking at what's going on right there. Again, we're in the Fright Zone, and we got that snake monster coming out and attacking Cyclone right there, and Moss Man's coming around here to lend some help. So that's about it for the packaging. Let's get this guy opened up and check him out. And here we have Cyclone out of the package and with everything he comes included. So we've got the figure itself. We have our mini comic, The Fog of War. We have his, I don't know what to call this, but this is kind of like that ring that was usually shown around the back in later iterations. The original, not so much the original figure, but the 2000X, I remember, was the first time I really kind of took notice of this. He comes with a shield and then he comes with these two little whirlwind um, attachments that are very very cool i really like what this does here so we'll set the comic off to the side and we'll take a look of, at the figure itself standing approximately five and a half inches tall and just taking a look at all of the detail on him the blues and the yellows work really well along with those red details there you got the rings going around the top of the boots those red rings going around the top of his gloves got the little blade things going on here I absolutely love that they still gave him that lenticular sticker there for the chest, just like on the original figure. Very, very cool. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I will bet you a Pepsi that is a He-Man. That is a blue He-Man phase with a helmet. I am certain of it. Check that out. Going around the back, he's got a little bit of a backpack right there. We'll see what that's for here in a moment. And that's really kind of about it. Now, I love the way that they work the gimmick on this. And one of the things that we've been saying with the Origins line is ask, you know, Mattel, please bring back the gimmicks. They brought back the gimmick for this guy and they did it in such a brilliant way. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Real quick articulation. Head is on a double ball joint. There's a ball joint inside of the neck and then there's another ball joint at the top of the 
uh, inside of the head itself. I actually had to tighten mine up because mine was very loose. His head was super floppy. The ball joint inside of the of the torso here was super loose and super floppy. So I actually had to tighten mine up. So there you go. You can tilt and turn and look up and down and do all that good stuff. You got the arms that can go in and out, forward and backwards, all the way around. You have that hinge at the elbow. You can bend and you can rotate. Same thing at the wrist. You can bend and you can rotate. We can rotate at the shoulder, and this is of note. You'll see why in a moment. The legs can go forward and backwards in and out. You got the rotation and the spin at the knee. You got the spin at the top of the boot top right here. And, of course, you got the ankles that can go forward and backwards, and they can also rotate some. So that's very neat because I wanted to point that out because this shows that he has full articulation. So you wonder how is the gimmick going to work. That's very cool. We'll get to that momentarily. Let's look at his accessories. So you got the shield right here, and you can just pop that in his hand and clip it right on. There you go. There's his shield. Holds them perfectly fine right there. You can also do the whirlwind attacks, and the whirlwinds here have a little hinge with a ball joint at the end right there, hollow on the inside. So these are replacements for the hands, so you can pop the hands out, and you can pop these in, but they're still articulated. Let's get that in there. There you go. So you can get them in place of the hand, so it looks like he's kind of like shooting off that whirlwind, but they're also articulated to us, so you can kind of bend them around to a certain degree which is really, really neat. So you can have that going on. The Master of Wind right there, which is very, very cool. How cool does that look? That's so awesome right there. We'll take that off, and we'll put his hands back on. There's, there's actually a lot of playability with this figure. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with him. Let's take a look at the ring, because the ring also has a couple of different things that we can do with it. Very, very neat. So you've got two clips here on the back, right? So you can clip it on like this, and it's kind of like, or do we want to do it this way? Either way, there you go. And you kind of just have that ring behind them. Just like that, you can do that. Or you can put it up here, closer to the top. So it's at the top of his head right there. You can do it that way, or you can flip it. Can you flip it on this one? Yeah, not so much, but... Kind of showing off. I'm kind of giving it away. You can tilt it forward so you can kind of have that kind of like that ring effect going around his neck right there. Or you can also do it down here. We'll flip it up this way. And you can put this around his waist, kind of like a hula hoop kind of a thing, and clip it that way. So now this way you also have this ring going around his waist, which is really cool. It looks neat. It looks even better when you are doing the uh, the gimmick, the little spin effect kind of a thing. So let's get into that right now. We'll set all of this aside. So to activate his gimmick, what you're going to do is you're going to pull him apart at the waist and the torso. You're just going to pull this up like that. Once you've got that pulled up, you've got that little roll rotation, little gear back here. So all you got to do is just spin that with your finger and it's going to make him spin just like that. There you go. And that looks so cool with a little hula hoop kind of effect right there. We'll bring that up a little bit. I'm trying to get it nice and straight. There we go. So that looks really, really neat. So now if we wanted to bring in some bad guys, let's do that. We'll bring him in. We'll bring in Hordak. And we'll bring in Leech. Just because these are the guys that I had here. And now we can start doing that. And Cyclone can go around and just attack on and defeat all of the evil warriors, which is really, really neat. And then, of course, to resell, all you have to do is push that back down. And that, that's not working anymore. He does rotate at the waist. It's neat because you can see that the gear rotates when you rotate him at the waist, but this doesn't work. Like, this is just hard, and I wouldn't want to force that anyway. And then you pull it apart, and check that out. There you go. Very neat. Absolutely love this figure. This has to be one of my favorite figures in the line so far. And it's because they brought back the gimmick, you know? It's just one of those things. It's been missing. We've been missing those gimmicks. A lot of these figures had such cool gimmicks. And I get it. They want to make them poseable. And it's, you know, a little more for the, like, serious adult collector. I get it. But at the same time, some of those gimmicks were so much fun. And I love playing with uh, with my kid. 
um, with all my master stuff, every uh, couple of weeks I'll bring in uh, one of the play sets, the ca you know Castle Grey Skull or Snake Mountain or something like that, and we'll just bring it downstairs, set it up on the table, and bring down a bunch of figures and just kind of play over the weekend. And the gimmicks is kind of missed, right? Uh, all of these gimmicks that I know these figures had when I was a kid, they're not there, so I can't enjoy them with my kid, you know, or rather, you know... Don't get me wrong, not enjoy the figures. We enjoy the figures, but we can't enjoy the gimmicks because they're not there. So it's really cool that they're bringing these bags because my kid absolutely adores it. And we just have hours of fun playing with them. So, yeah, very cool figure. I'm very glad that I finally got it. That is going to do it for the Masters of the Universe Origins Cyclone. What did you think of this figure? Let me know down in the comments. Give me some thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you see. Thank you so much for watching. As always... I'll talk to you next time.